Do any speculations maybe around the offensive coordinator position of maybe any names of guys that you've heard just word on the street type stuff? Boy, I I, I don't know. Um, you know, there there are guys out there. I I thought I thought obviously that the, I thought Totten would just step up into the role, stay on as quarterback coach and offensive coordinator. I don't know why they didn't want to do that. I, uh, it, it it may be. Um, a personal, not a personality thing, because I think he and Tot, uh, Graves and Totten are pretty close. They've worked together before. Um, it, it may be some, a type of offense that he wants, uh, and maybe he sees Totten as a guy who, who's a good quarterback too, or not, you know, not not as much as a, a, an offensive coordinator. But I haven't thought of it. I haven't heard any names, and I know, um, you know, you got. Um, you got Fred McNair floating around out there, and hey, I don't, I, and I don't know that 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 they shouldn't bring him in and talk to him. I'm not going to be able to pay him a whole lot of money, but um, you know, compared to probably what he was making at Alcorn, but yeah, you know, he's a guy that uh, if he might be a one stop, a one year, um, you know, solution. And I don't know if you want to do that. I, I have a feeling McNair isn't going to want to stay on more than a year he may you know he kind of is left out in the cold on this whole texas southern deal so uh unless he gets on at the florida a&m and i don't know if that's going to happen uh, i i don't i don't know how florida a&m would feel about hiring him and i haven't seen anything it seemed like it would have happened real quick if they were interested so i guess mcnair's a possibility jim i like that yeah i like I, that I, he's a good coach I, I think he's an excellent coach uh, I mean, the fact that he won at Alcorn, and, and they've got some disadvantages over there, which finally, I think, drove him away. Uh, you know, all the stuff that happened in the COVID year, um, you know, I, I think he was pretty disgusted and probably wanted to leave right then. Uh, you know, and look, look, he came back and he had a couple of good seasons. Uh, they really should have won the West. I thought they were the best team. Um, I, I don't know, you know, if they don't lose that, uh, I don't know how they go to Texas Southern and, and lose there. Like they did, just just you know, with everything on the line, you know, just to, to lose that game. But uh, anyway, I don't. We'll see. Uh, I, I like Coach McNair, and I, I'd be happy to have him here. I would be too. I like that idea, especially a guy that you've seen being able to have quarterbacks, running backs, receivers in this conference. Offensively, what we've seen Southern Southern struggle at. One of the issues we've had with all corn is simply having struggles dealing with their offense, right? He's had quarterback yeah. after quarterback. He's had a depth of running backs that have been developed to be great, as well as receivers that can catch their long and what they do best, they can block really well. I like that idea. I wonder how much would he be uh, okay with coming? Hey, we right down the road from Alcorn, so that wouldn't be too bad to go out the way for him to have to go too far.